Hello everybody, here's another Star Wars video for you guys. This time what I have in my hand is a Star Wars guitar watch. I have the stainless steel, white face, blue, uh, number dial version. It comes in a rose gold version and a gold version, regular gold version. Um, this watch is basically... I cannot find it in the catalog here of Star Wars, so I'm sorry about that. The story about this watch is that basically the CEO or owner of Star Wars walks into his office one day and sees this rock and roll magazine. Uh, he claims it was the best rock, it, it was the most popular rock and roll magazine in the world. And the best artist there is wearing a watch and he has his wrist up. And he's wearing a Star Wars watch. Not this watch in particular, just a regular Star Wars watch. Uh, he doesn't say which watch it was, he just says a Star Wars watch. So years later, Star Wars comes up with this guitar watch and basically saying thank you to him. Uh, as you can see here, it looks like a guitar. Here are Here's the guitar, the top of it, the bottom of it. Here's where you play the guitar, right here where the date window is. Here's basically guitar, basically control the um, knobs and stuff, which is pretty cool. Uh, this watch is 45 millimeters big, but it doesn't look like it at all. It looks like a 38, 39. It's really thick, which is pretty cool. Uh, it has basically your smooth sweeping hand, as you can see there. Date function there. Here is the minutes hand the se the second hand and the hour hand. Um, Star Wars watches use Briet hands, so basically the hands itself are worth more than the watch itself. Uh, so that's basically something that's to think about. You could be like, oh, my, my hands are worth more than the watch itself. Look at that, I got Briet hands at a good price. Uh, basically, it comes with a 24-hour uh, meter, or dial, I mean. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and a month uh, dial. January, February, March, April, June, July. Sorry you can't really see that. I'm trying to autofocus it as much as I can. Uh, but there you go. Uh, the letters and numbers. I mean the numbers, not letters at all. The numbers are blue. Half of them are in regular writing. And half of them are in Roman numerals. It has a nice design. Uh, it did not come with this strap. It came with just a black leather strap, which is right here. Here's the box it comes with, by the way. Here's the regular strap leather. I didn't really like it, so I took it apart, took it out, and put a NATO strap on it. Uh, here is the tag that it comes with: Stour Classic Timepieces Authentic. So this talks about it being authentic. Came wrapped around in paper, Stour cleaning cloth, papers and stuff, and the buckle that it came with came in this box tower and then that box came with another box uh, it's been keeping good time had it for a week running now I haven't taken this off yet I don't know why uh, the back of it you can't see the movement like the other watches you can it's a, it has screws so basically you take out the screws to put it to take it apart and to look inside I haven't taken it apart yet Maybe I'll do that later. It's three ATM water resistant. It's a China movement. Uh, the movements that these guys use, they say, well, in forums say that it's better than Miyota movement. It's a lot better than that. Um, even though it's a China movement, it's like the higher end China stuff. Uh, basically, Star Wars claims that they make or they spend 30 million in Swiss made stuff to make their watches, which I think isn't true at all. But that's okay. Uh, the, it, for that money, they could have just made Switzerland all, all their money, all their pieces Swiss made. I mean, you do have some Swiss made pieces, but they would have made everything Swiss made. Uh, this is a really good uh, watch. I really recommend changing out the band if you really don't like that band for a black band. Uh, I chose stainless steel version because you can wear that with anything. You can't find it anymore online. I got the last one in a private dealer brand new in the box with papers never used uh, it comes with the rose gold that one's also limited can't be found uh, the regular gold version can be found but that you can't really wear casually everywhere stainless always goes with everything 
and black as well. Uh, let's get a wrist shot. Just give me a second. Let's put this watch on my wrist. Show you guys how it looks like. It's a 45 millimeter, they claim, or 43. But it doesn't look like it. it. Looks really well with this NATO. The movement of your wrist uh, controls the rotor, basically. And you can never wind it, never needs batteries. It's good quality. I like the crystal, it's odd shape. You can't really find watches with this kind of crystal. Oh, there you go. You can see the dial a lot better here. Uh, you can, yeah. There's a sweeping hand, brand new. I recommend to buy this watch. It's really well, really well made. Uh, I think the stainless steel version is $200. I'm not sure. I mean, the sorry, the regular version is $200. The rose gold version is $500. The stainless steel version, that I don't know how much it is. Um, it's very rare to find. But yeah. If you have any more questions about the Stower guitar watch, please send me a message or a comment or whatever you want to know about it, and I'll let you know. Oh, and then the buttons here, as you can see, they control. You push the top button, it changes the uh, month, the bottom changes the day of the week. And the crown is not a screw-down crown, it's a, you pull it out. Three, millimeter, uh, 3 ATM water resistance, only recommended for washing hands in light rain not recommended for a shower or pool uh, it leaks water because of the pressure but yeah as you can see it's very nice one of my favorite watches uh, you have any questions please don't hesitate don't hesitate to ask and i will answer them thank you very much